Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my Imperial Army as of January of 2019. If you are new around here, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss a video whenever I upload. But without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So this army consists of a total of 84 minifigures, which isn't the biggest um, upgrade since my last army video, which was over a year ago where I had 65 minifigures. So about 20 min minifigures in a year isn't the best, but I still made some progress nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the very front of the army where it is being led by Emperor Palpatine as well as two Darth Vaders. We have the older version here. Then we also have the newer one with the newer helmet mold. And then behind them we have just an assortment of generals and admirals. We've got some um, admirals there. We've got General Veers, Admiral Ularin, just another random admiral right there. We got Tobias Beckett, and we've also got Agent Callus right there. And then right there behind Palpatine, we have just a Mimbam Trooper, just because I didn't really have space for him anywhere else in the army, so I thought I'd throw him in right there. Over here to the left, we just have a ton of officers or control workers, whatever you want to call them. We have a ton in black right there. We also have um, some in gray right there. And then we also have three ATST pilots. We've got one of the older versions, I mean, two of the older versions right there. We got one of the newer ones with the helmet, with the goggles up on the helmet. Over here, we have some pilots. We have two AT-AT pilots, and we also have two TIE fighter pilots. We've got one of the newer versions where it is a full helmet mold. And then we also have one of the older versions where the helmet is actually, um, it has a gap in it where the head is part of the um, helmet as well. Now we'll be moving on to the main bulk of the army right here, the main troopers that are used in any Imperial army. We've got some three snow troopers right here. Behind them, we have three hover tank pilots from Rogue One. And then we've just got a whole line of stormtroopers right here. We have not the newest version, but the um, one of the newer versions here of all these stormtroopers, just plain regular stormtroopers. Then we have two of the older stormtroopers there. And then we have some of the battle scarred stormtroopers there. We have four of those guys. And then we have two uh, sandy or uh, dirty stormtroopers of the older version right there in the back. And in the back, we also have six Imperial patrol troopers. And I got these recently from that sale from Target, or at least most of them. And I will be using them in my newest mock. Moving to the right, we have a whole line of death troopers there, which are very, very awesome looking figures. We also got what I like to call Shadow Stormtroopers, which are just kind of Stormtroopers in a gray color. And then at the very, very back, we have just a plain old Scout Trooper. Now, I have a ton of guards here. Um, I have four of these black guards in the very, very front. Kind of a useless figure, but they look cool, I guess. And then I also have eight of the red guards, the famous guards that guarded Emperor Palpatine. And uh, I have six of these older versions because a, a couple years ago for Christmas, for some reason, I wanted red guards. So I got six of them for Christmas one year. Then I also have two of the older versions at the back. And to finish this army up, we have two very, very cool looking shock troopers, two shore troopers from Scarif. And then we also have two ATD pilots, which are another useless figure in my opinion. But that just about wraps up today's video, so if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Oh